Hi everyone, welcome. I have a flip through for you, of course. This is from Walmart. This is Manga Glow in the Dark Coloring Book, illustrated by Juan in Santiago Cali. I'm guessing is how you say that. So here is the back side. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this artist, they also did Horror Glow in the Dark Coloring, and I have done a page out of here. I really like this style of book, though. Um, so when I seen Manga, I was a little undecided, but I decided to finally go ahead and try it out and go for it. So, um, warning, if you have any kind of seizures or anything like that, I am going to be turning the lights on and off in this video to show the glow in the dark feature of the book. So if that bothers you, um, let me know and I can re-record one with just the regular lighting. Um, I don't want to send anybody into any kind of episode. So here's what that one looks like in the dark. So they are really neat. There's daylight. Um, I know it's it's not a huge thing because it's not like who's looking through your books in the dark anyway, but it is still fun and it is something a little different. So let's get started with this flip through. Now I will show you, you can tell which pages have the glow in the dark and you cannot color over the glow in the dark. So that will stay like that after your piece is colored and that'll be up to you whether that is something you like or not. Um, so that one I had in the light a little bit so it had charged a little better. I'm not sure how well these ones will glow. I did try to charge with a light a little bit before but I didn't do a whole lot so we'll see. Oh, they show up really well. So that is super neat. I like that. Um, I do have a light like super close on it, so that probably helps. So the Magical Manga World, of course, whimsical pictures in Japanese. Japanese manga is a globally popular comic style that appeals to all ages. Um, did you know oversized eyes are artist Usamu Tezuka's tribute to his favorite Disney characters. Um, some of the artworks have been embellished with glow ink. You will spot the sheen on 24 of these scenes. If you expose them to light for 30 seconds, oh, there you go, it only takes 30 seconds. If I would have read that sooner, I could have saved myself a ton of time. These pictures will then glow in the dark. The pages are perforated and you can move them, remove them to frame your favorites. So yes, they are perforated. They are on decent paper, which is nice. It's not super thick. I'd still be a little easy on the water, but, um, and then it has a little bit about the artist. So let me get started. So this one I think is neat because it's, um, it's not horror. It's got a little more cutesy features to it. And I do like their drawing style. Um, I'm just not big on horror. So that book was a little trickier to get into. There's still a few pages I like in it, but Very neat. I really like how her spots on her legs show up there. Okay, so um, obviously you get more than 24 images. It is a thick book, but only 24 of them are glow in the dark. Um, one little issue that may cause is when you're coloring on the back side of this one, the glow in the dark from this one might leave lines like be a little trickier to color, but I don't think it'll hurt a whole lot. So I am going to go a little slow just so these pages have a little time to charge and I will show you with lights on and lights off. Again, if you need just a lights on version, please let me know. I can totally do that. Um, they do have a Harry Potter glow in the dark, which I thought is neat too. And it is the same setup. It has the same glow in the dark that you can't color over. So yes, very neat. I will probably grab that at some point in the future, but I have the original Harry Potter that is not glow in the dark, and I've only got one page done of it. So I'm really trying to tell myself, before I get into too many more books um, of the same thing, I need to work on what I have. Because <laughs> I'd be good at that. This is cute. I like the little disco ball. This is going to be one of my first pages. I really like this one. This is cute too. This would be a cute like orange and green page jungle theme. 
Um, I'm hoping this video isn't too dark. I have all the other lights off in the house so that when I show you the glow in the dark pages, they will show up a little better. Okay, so here we have a nice, you could use this one for Halloween even if you wanted. She's got some vampire teeth going on. So we're trying to give it its 30 seconds. And actually, they show up really well even without doing the full 30 seconds. Again, very neat. Now on the flip side, if you have a page that you want to make glow in the dark that does not come like this, Walmart and probably Amazon I'm sure does sell glow in the dark paint. You just take a fine paintbrush and you just paint the lines, whatever parts you want to glow. I thought this was a neat page. Um, feels like Alice in Wonderland to me, Tin Man, the dog, Dorothy, Yellow Brick Road. And I like that this page is a glow-in-the-dark one. Very neat touch. So there is our uh, Wizard of Oz in the dark. Okay. Hopefully that's not too annoying. <laughs> it was like the best way I could think to show the glow-in-the-dark feature. Another fun one with that. Some flying lily pads and things here. Kind of looks like they're maybe supposed to be underwater. You got the seaweed coming up here. Let me, two seconds, I want to make sure this page gets a little light real quick. Okay. There's our underwater scene. So you can kind of see like the edge of my book over here where it didn't get as much light is very barely glowing. And over here where she really soaked in the glow in the dark is bright. So the longer it sits in the light to charge, the brighter your glow will be, of course. Um, it will be fun to see pages of this book done. Almost reminds me of storybook. This one's like Red Riding Hood. Okay, there's a baseball one, kind of like we had in the beginning. It would have been a good one to have for the 4th of July. So again, give it a quick second to charge. Hoping this video won't be extremely long. Oh, I almost hit end video instead of turning the light off. That one shows up really well. I love how well her face turns out like even with the lights off. You can see her eyes really well, her mouth. Very cute. Alright. So let's keep working our way here. I really like this would be a fun one to do too. Um, with the glow, making the ball glow. That would be fun. So this one is not one I would necessarily color, but if I wanted to use wet media or paint or markers on this one, I would not be totally upset about ruining this page. There's another cute one. Definitely an interesting style. Um, some of them aren't my thing, but there was enough pages in here I liked to make it worth it, but like, not 100% sure what's going on in this page to color it. <laughs> That'd be a nice Halloween creature there. Oh, sorry, I got, I cannot get the page to turn here, they're stuck together. Okay. Hopefully these are all showing up well. Okay, so we got some flowers and some vines. This would be a good one for color testing, media testing. It's cute. And over here we have a glow in the dark one. Maybe this one will make more sense when the lights are off. Oh, it's a motorcycle. I see it. It's more like Ghost Rider type thing going on here with the desert scene. Very fun. I have been wanting to do a page in desert colors. I think some green, some turquoise, and some like coral pink. So there is that one sideways. Um, still a little tricky to see what's going on, but you can definitely see her face and the tires and the flames. So, okay. 
Not underwater type one. Ladybug. Maybe we're not underwater. Maybe it's mushrooms. But it's mushrooms. Maybe she's a bug or a bee or something. This one is underwater. So um, this one would be fun to do like a watercolor background. Um, I want to try watercolor skin with the Crayola markers. Maybe I'll try that on this one. Because uh, it is a heck of a page and I'm not sure if I would ever finish it. But it would be good to test on. So let me charge her face a little bit real quick. because I want it to show up well. Um, I have not tried the glow in the dark paint from the store a whole lot, so I'm not sure how well it glows or charges, but I did grab some, so we will be playing with it. I thought it would be fun to try on some pumpkins. Hey, sorry, I forgot to turn the light back on for you. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't break my light. Turning it on and off. Here's a nice up close dragon. She's got her kimono type thing on going on here. Very neat. I like how up close this is. Even if I only colored this half, it would be gorgeous. Feeling some red and some golds on this page. Very neat. Her outfit, these thick ones show up so well. His teeth. Teeth are a lot scarier in the dark. Okay, some more underwater. Nice little fishies here. This is cute. A little frog. She's holding on to a fish. <laughs> we'll give this one a second to charge while we look at all the details here. There are a couple bugs. I'm not a big fan of bugs in real life, but I don't mind coloring them. I actually think they're quite fun to color. But as long as they stay in the books and away from me. She's not a bug person. Creepy, crawly, scary things. Mm -mm. There's a frog in the dark. Still pretty cute. Okay. We have some like robo bunny type things going on here. Snakes. Again, I don't know if I clear this page, so if I wanted to do water or markers on the other page, I wouldn't be totally sad about it. I would do a majority of these pages, but would I ever completely finish the book? Probably not. Will I have half whips in here? Probably so. Um, so again, this book was at my Walmart. Um, if I... I will grab an Amazon link for it if you're interested, but keep an eye out at Walmart if you're interested. Um, I've noticed books on my end anyway from where I am are about a dollar, two dollars cheaper at Walmart than Amazon, which isn't a huge deal, but I kind of like grabbing them at Walmart just because I can look through them and decide if it's something I'm interested in. This one, I want to tackle this one. This is like my number one. These dinosaurs are cute. My only thing I haven't decided, things I've had this book a whole two hours, is if I want to do like bright colorful dinos or if I want to do more like realistic like greens and oranges and things. So I haven't decided that, but that is definitely a page I will be doing. I think I might go bright because it'd be fun to blend rainbow colors on here. So here we have this one, a little caveman style. Sorry if I can try to switch that one is neat in the dark it got a little longer to charge while I was talking this little troll guy down here is cute so a lot of these aren't huge pieces that'll take a long time to do which is nice and again they are perforated let's take them out oh here's some cute little dragon ones this would be cute to do too with her tail. So just giving it a second to charge while we check it out. I'm going to pull it over just a little so her face can get some light. Very cute. All her little teeth and eyes of being glow in the dark is going to be super neat when we turn off the light. Okay, center it back up here. Turn the light off. Yes, very cute. I knew these guys over here with their teeth and things were going to be super cute. And you can still see me pointing. <laughs> I like how they did her whole skin glow in the dark. That's 
way more helpful than just the outline. Give myself a headache. Bubbles! We could have so much fun in all these bubbles. This would have been a neat one to do in the dark with the bubbles. But Here's a Candyland type sweets page. Um, I think it is supposed to be a double page spread, but of course your book, your rules. Always remember your book, your rules. I would hate to look at a book and be like, I never touched it because um, I followed some you can't do this, can't do that rule in it, have to color both sides. If you only want to color one side, go for it. That one is pretty neat in the dark as well. <sighs> she looks a little spookier over here on this side. The top of her sucker didn't glow a whole lot, but the rest glows pretty good. I have taken this book and turned it into a 20 minute book too. All right. I can't remember what these are called when they have all the tails. I have seen a few of these through here. That's neat that they're keeping the Japanese theme there with it. The dragons and the little hearts. I need to look up the names of these. I know they're not called huts, but I can't think of the... <clears throat> it would be kind of fun to do. Not sure if this one's supposed to be a double page spread, because it kind of does look like it in the bushes, but nowhere else. So I think I'd do this one separate. Okay, gonna shut the lights off real quick. Check out this house and dragon. Very neat in the dark as well. They did a great job on spots highlighting on this house and this dragon. So if I do get one colored out of here, um, I will post the day and night version. <laughs> See, like this, not my thing. So this one I would color. So I would probably do watercolors. Maybe try out my ink tints. I really need to get those out and get more comfortable. Here's a nice cute little princess. Looks like she's sleeping with all the birds. Got some flower vines going here. We got some, I think they're maybe dragons playing in the water. Very cute pages. Let me show you kind of centered here. Here's one and here's the other. I know my book is kind of all over the place. Things I'm trying to show the glow in the dark and everything. It's cute. I really like that. There's another mermaid one in here I like too. This is cute. This I might try in ink tints. See if I can't kill it completely. And that is the end. So Thunder Bay print again. Copyright, all right, reserved, all that good stuff. Manga glow in the dark. So there is that book. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Again, if you'd like a shorter, quicker clip with just the lights on, let me know. And I hope to see you next video. Thanks for watching.